Okay, we're here to follow the abandoned Ware River Railroad line. Um, we're here at South Barry where the line officially ends and is abandoned. Uh, this is owned by the current Central Mass. Uh, you may uh, know, uh, know this from my uh, Central Mass, Mass Central video. That long, long video. Uh, so uh, the track just goes right into that uh, grass over there and stops. And the central and the mass central ownership ends and the abandonment begins. So uh, this is the beginning of the Ware River abandoned line. JPH0917 here with you with Rizuk Video, Train Video Productions and Skyman 2002. So we're off to Baldwinville and Wichenden. Okay, we're here at the spot of the old Barry Station. Uh, people of Barry were disappointed that both the Central Mass and the Ware River Line put the station here because we're about two miles outside of uh, Barry Center. So uh, the tracks came in from over there. It's all been graded here, but right around where those sand mounds are is where the two tracks came in. And the station site would have been behind me. The tracks would have crossed right over the Barry Depot Road here and over where those rocks are is where uh, is where the tracks would have gone. Now from here the tracks would have continued next to each other till they got to the Ware River itself. The Ware River line crossed the river and the central mass of course did not. It uh, stayed to the uh, to the east and uh, that's where the two lines separated. So we're going to go where the two lines separated and continue on. Okay, we are still in Barry. We're in the uh, what was the village, now a hamlet of uh, White Valley. And as you can see, the river has been drained a little bit. So anyone who wanted to walk down there and get pictures could do so. But here are the bridge abutments where the Ware River Railroad used to cross over the Ware River so it could continue following it. And over there on the other side, a little further into the woods, is where it uh, curved away from the Central Mass Railroad. And as you can see, pretty nice. The abutments are still here. So we, uh, we can still have some sort of history of the railroad as it came through. White Valley here in Barry, Mass. Okay, this is another view of the uh, stone abutments they used to carry the railroad bridge and the Ware River Railroad over the Ware River here in the White Valley section of Barry. There you can see the abutment where we were just standing. And the uh, river's quite low today. They drained it for some reason. There's John down there. And uh, so this is another view of the uh, of those bridge abutments. And uh, on we go. Okay, now that's the uh, right of way going up to that bridge over the Ware River where we just were. And as you can see as it comes down here across Skyman right there, there's the railroad crossing for Route 32 and the track used to go right over there and that's where the Ware River Rail Trail starts up. So uh, we'll go over there and Take a look and see what's over. Okay, we're here on Covered Bridge Road, deep in the woods of Barry, Massachusetts. In fact, Barry Center is not far from here. But here's the uh, Ware River Railroad coming in where it used to cross the road. And that's looking back towards. Uh, 
where we were, Route 122. All right, and this is the other side of uh, Covered Bridge Road, and that's looking towards Route 62, which would be our next destination. But as you see, the Ware River Railroad, it was in the uh, woods quite a bit. And so, moving on, further into Barry. Okay, we are at Route 62 in Barry. We're a couple of miles outside Barry Center. And there's the uh, track looking back towards uh, Covered Bridge Road, where we were just a moment ago. And this is where the track crossed over Route 62. No more evidence of a railroad crossing. And then the track went over here. And continued off to Hubbardston and a little village called Williams Williamston I guess that was the name of it and there's also another hiking trail right next to it so this is the route 62 crossing in Barry and we're on our way to Williamston in Hubbardston okay now we're in Hubbardston in a little hamlet called Williamsville and this is about the approximate location of where the station used to be for uh, Williamsville of course we got a little house here that kind of resembles the roof kind of resembles a train station roof but can't say that that's the station and there's a right-of-way heading towards uh, Templeton Baldwinville and Witchington So this is the uh, Williamsville station site here in Hubbardston on this road that uh, doesn't have a route number. So uh, that's looking north. Coming back, that might be the station. You never know. And there's looking south. And John's on his way down here. So... Uh, Okay, we're going to continue on up into Templeton and Baldwinville. Okay, we are here in the town of Templeton. We're looking back towards uh, Williamsville in the town of Hubbardston. So, uh, so actually we're looking back south again, uh, where we were before. As you can see, it's pretty pretty good path, pretty good uh all we gotta do is pave this and it'd be a good bike trail, but we'd rather see the trains back here. All right. As we turn, there's John. And on the other side of Route 101, the uh, trail continues. That's where the track went towards uh, Templeton and Baldwinville. And uh, Baldwinville, of course, is a village of Templeton. And so our next uh, destination will probably be up in uh, somewhere in Templeton. And then we'll hit Baldwinville. So uh, signing off from here at Route 101 in Templeton. So this is Route 2A here in Templeton. We're just uh, outside of the town of Templeton, well, the town center of Templeton. This is Otter River. Uh, this is... Sky just said this is Auto River, so I don't know if there was a station here for Auto River. But we're looking back at uh, Route 101 where we were before and looking at some kind of a silo right there. So this must have been a customer. And by the look of that little pavement right there, it's probably right, right where the track crossed. And here's the right of way as it heads up towards Baldwinville. Again, Baldwinville is a village of Templeton. So our uh, next destination would be the village of Baldwinville here in the town of Templeton. And that will be our next stop. Hmm. That probably went after the railroad yeah. was abandoned. Yeah. Okay, we're here in the village of Baldwinville, town of Templeton. And we are looking back 
towards uh, where we were before on uh, Route 2A and uh, we're coming this is where the line was coming into Baldwinville from Templeton Center or just outside Templeton Center and we can see that there is a old uh, signal post there warning the uh, engineer that he had to stop and let his uh, conductor flag the crossing that's right behind us and as we turn around and look the other way there's where the railroad crossing was but as you see it's all built up from here and uh, after it crossed this road a little further up it uh, came and met the uh, Boston and Maine uh, main line and then uh, crossed over it in a tight diagonal diamond and went off to Wichenden. So uh, we're going to explore around Baldwinville Village, see what we could see, and uh, we'll catch you in a few minutes. Okay, we're here in Baldwinville Village, town of Templeton, at the garage for the Templeton Fire Department. And we're looking at a very high bridge abutment that carried the Ware River Railroad over uh, the Otter River. So it could meet the Boston and Maine main line and cross over it heading towards Baldwinville. And there's some pretty pretty tall stone arches here so we're going to go on the other side of the river and see if we can get a better view of the one that's in the river so that's a tall <laughs> that's a tall bugger and there's that bridge abutment that carried the uh, Ware River Railroad over the Otter River here in the village of Baldwinville and they had to because the Boston and Maine Railroad tracks are up on a 40-foot hill behind me. So the tracks went right over this area here on a very tall bridge. So, uh, and now we're going to go see if we can find the uh, junk where it crossed the Boston and Maine main line. And we'll be off to Wichenden. <coughs> Okay, we're here in uh, Baldwinville at the location of the Baldwinville station, which is no longer standing. And we're looking at the uh, Ware River line as it shoots off towards Wichenden, coming in to cross the B&M main line. This is now Pan Am's main line. And it, uh, over there where John is standing is pretty much where the uh, track came in from the uh, large uh, bridge abutment that it went over, just to the uh, just to the right. So uh, this and this guy. This was the Baldwinville Station location. Of course, it's no longer here. And uh, this is where the Ware River crossed over the B and M, and that way towards Wichenden. Signing off. Okay, again, right where John is standing there, that's where the track came in from uh, Templeton here in Baldwinville, the diamond right here, and then there's the uh, path going off to Wichenden. And uh, we're heading out there. Fence bridge. Uh, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we're looking at a really overgrown right of way here on Bridge Street. We, uh, we're outside of Templeton now, heading towards Wichenden. And that's looking back towards Baldwinville and Templeton. So the tracks used to come here and used to go under the road at, on a bridge, obviously. Under the bridge. Under the, well, went under the road on a bridge. Alright, well that's one way. So let's go look at the other way. Alright, now this is looking north from the Bridge Street Old Bridge Street Bridge, which is no longer here, and that's looking up towards uh, Wichington. So we're getting close to the end of the uh, abandoned part of the Ware River line. And we all know that the uh, part that's still active 
Skyman has filmed several, several times, and so have John. So is John and I. So uh, as we continue north for uh, the town of Witchenden. Now we're in Witchenden on Stoddard Road. That's looking back towards Baldwinville. As we're getting closer and closer to the northern terminus of the Ware River line. And uh, there's John, the car. Sky's in the car. Now we're looking back towards uh, Waterville and Witchenden. So it's so overgrown, can't really tell where the actual track was, but it actually took a little turn to the left there. And uh, headed towards Waterville and Witchenden. And that's where the line ended, where it met... Uh, where it met the Monadnock Railroad, the Cheshire Railroad, and uh, Wichington used to have quite a few railroads going through it, but now, no more. So, uh, off to Waterville. Okay, we're at Rice Road in Wichington. That's looking back towards Baldwinville in Templeton. And it actually looks like a well-maintained trail. A nice, nice straightaway. As you see, they got stop signs up there for people who are coming on their uh, bikes or snowmobiles for the winter time. And uh, now we turn. Hello, John. And going that way, that's looking towards Wichington and Waterville. And so this is the. Uh, Rice Road Crossing. As you can see by the pavement here, they've paved over this several times so we don't see any evidence of a crossing. Okay, we are on the edge of uh, Waterville and Wichington Center, and that's the uh, abandoned path coming in from Baldwinville and we are on uh, Benjamin Benjamin Road and Laurel Street and the track crossed right here and went down this way I'm not sure how far we are from the actual end but this may be the customer that was served by the B&M after uh, the Boston and Albany abandoned their Wichington branch, which was the Ware River Line. Ware River Line was started off as an independent railroad, was taken over by the uh, Boston and Albany and became the Wichington branch. But when they couldn't get control of the Monadnock, this, this sounded the death knell for this, for this uh, branch. So, but uh, here we are at the edge of Waterville and Wichington Center. And we are still got about a mile and a half to go. Okay, we are on uh, Bridge Street here in uh, Ohio Street on uh, in Wichenden around the Waterville area. As you can see, the tracks used to come in from over there. And you can see some of the factory outlets and over there. And the bridge is closed here, and the tracks continued to go right, right down there, and uh, we are on the edge of Wichenden and Waterville. And this part was abandoned in the middle '80s by the Boston and Maine after. '84. Yeah. So. So we're almost to the end. Again. <laughs> okay, here we are in Wichenden. We're standing on the Cheshire Railroad right of way, which has been turned into a bike path. And as you look down there, that's where the Ware River Railroad came in. 
right in there and junctioned right here with the uh, Cheshire and together they went that way over to um, Wittenden. So in front of us over there you can see the two bridges uh, the uh, that carry probably the two tracks the one on the left is closed and the one on the right has been refurbished to be a bridge over the lake so people can continue down the Cheshire branch and right over there is Waterville and Richardson is to our right You can probably see bridge abutments down there that uh, probably right around there that uh, was probably a spur track to serve the customers who used to occupy these abandoned um, factory buildings. So we've come to an end of another abandoned railroad of Massachusetts. Hope you've been enjoying the series now that I'm getting back with them. Uh, don't know what I'll do next, but uh, there's still plenty of abandoned railroads here in uh, Massachusetts, so I'll be getting to some of them, all one of them. So uh, signing off here from uh, the Waterville section of Wichenden.